Hi, this is Ken with Leica Reasonings. This is a follow-up to a rather jabbled first video. Uh, in the first video, uh, uh, that was a tough one for me to make. Uh, this one isn't getting any uh, too much easier, but here was my point to film photography in the first video. When I first started photography as a kid, I used film, and that's all we had. I felt completely connected to, to the whole process of photography. I meet her with my light meter, my Gossin Luna 6, and I decided uh, on which aperture and shutter speed I would use that would be best for the image that I vis visualized, uh, depth of field and so forth, that I was after. I would carefully compose the shot, and in the end, I felt intimately connected to the final image and the final image was much better than my digital images. Now, then, as I pointed out in the first video, I believe digital can make you a better photographer because the feedback is immediate. It's a good learning tool. We can adjust and check the exposure on the fly. We can recompose the shot as needed and see the results immediately. So it is a very good learning tool. However, for me, when I first embraced digital into my workflow, I became more and more disconnected with my images and the entire photographic process. Um, I was comfortable using film and the images on film versus digital didn't have the same feeling. Uh, I no longer with digital felt like I was the artist the creator of the image. I was a button pusher, and as a result, my personal uh, photography suffered a major setback. Images suddenly looked the same to me, and I had no heart or soul in most of the, dim, if not all, the di digital images I made. Digital was a useful learning tool, and it made me a better film photographer in the end. But all of my soulful and best images uh, over the years, the images that mean the most to me and others as well, are the images I made on film uh, with a film camera, manual film camera. I believe digital photography takes away our commitment to the image we, we capture. It's too easy to check and recheck, set and reset until we think we have the perfect image. This loses the decisive moment, the magic of capturing a once in a lifetime split moment of time uh, that will last forever. I think digital actually cheapens the decisive moment after multiple attempts. Uh, the image is no longer an uh, authentic representation of capturing that single moment of time when you press the shutter. Digital is great for commercial work because we need to please our clients. Digital gives us the opportunity to fine tune exactly what our clients are looking for. And this I get. Uh, in the first video, I had the Leica M5 and just gave kind of a little brief uh, description here, but uh, this is the camera. It's a good camera. It's built like a tank. It has a built-in meter. And uh, I, I really like using this. And I also have the Leica M3, which this has the 50 uh, F2 Sumacron on it. And you can see the, the size differences of, of these. I think you can see the size differences of these. The M5 is much bigger, heavier. Um, but yeah, I, I chose uh, the Leica film cameras uh, for my 35 millimeters uh, because I, I like to travel light, compact, small. The bodies are small. Of course, the, the, the M5 is, is bigger, but uh, it's still a reasonably sized camera and the lenses are small. So I can travel with uh, 
two film Leicas and a 35 and a 50, swap them back and forth. And uh, I, I, I'm not carrying a lot of gear, and I like that. So you can use whatever camera you're comfortable with, but these are built like tanks, and uh, I like I like the uh, results I get with those. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.